Have you ever wanted to learn more about how to maintain your gun or possibly gunsmithing or even shooting sports management? You should check out Sonoran Desert Institute. If you'd like to know more information about their school, head on over to sdi.edu. They have payment plans available. And uh, yeah, maybe then you won't end up in this situation. Uh, gotta go call a repair guy now to fix the ceiling. Hey everyone, Ava Flanell here. Today I wanna talk about something that's really important that is probably going to affect you and that is ATF trying to change the rules on braces. If you haven't heard, ATF recently published arbitrary defined rules, which will ultimately make anyone who owns a brace in danger of becoming a felon if they don't act now. There's a few important factors to consider when commenting on ATF's website. The ATF has made it extremely deceptive as to how you can comment and if it counts. So it's really important that you guys do this correctly. I've created a guide to make sure that your voice is heard. When commenting on the website, the first thing you wanna make sure is do not use any profanity, any foul language. You wanna keep it professional because the minute that you use any type of cursing, it'll get thrown out. And then lastly, don't mix up any brace or firearm definitions. Now, as far as what to do, include a reference to the docket number. That number is ATF 2021 R-08. Make sure that you include your name and contact information. Make sure that you keep it polite and professional as much as that might be difficult to do. When commenting, a few things that you might wanna include are note that gun owners purchased this property legally in good faith. There's about 10 to 40 million braces that have been purchased, and this would turn millions of people into criminals overnight. You also wanna include how it's going to financially affect you and others. Over a billion dollars will be extorted from the public if they have to declare their AR pistol and SBR, paying $200 for every tax stamp. Discuss how this is going to negatively affect disabled veterans because this changes what they can use based on arbitrary sizes and weights. There aren't any parameters as to what they're actually trying to do. Everything is arbitrary. One agent might say it's legal and the other agent might say it's illegal and that leaves many people in the dark looking for a solid answer. Discuss how the rules contradict themselves. For example, you'll receive points for having sights and not having sights or a gun can be heavy enough to have a brace or it's not long enough. And almost anyone can score that gun differently and it's a felony if you screw up. This law is only going to be affecting law-abiding citizens and not criminals because let's face it, they never follow the laws anyways. And lastly, one of the craziest things is even if the gun meets the ATF's criteria, they can still label it an SBR if they think that it circumvents the NFA. So if you're as frustrated as I am and you wanna take action, which I really hope that you do. We all need to come together, definitely take a stand. Like I said, there's anywhere from 10 to 40 million braces out there. So that's 10 to 40 million people that can be labeled a criminal overnight with the stroke of a pen. So please take action. If you guys want to do so, there is a link on my website. Just go to gunfunny.com forward slash news. The two links that are going to appear first are going to be about braces and lowers which I will make another video for uh, regarding lowers, but definitely take action. We have until September 8th to make our voices heard. So let's all come together and fight the good fight.